Welcome. In this video, we are looking at the numbering system hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is where a number, where a single digit, can be one of 16 possible values. The values could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. Well, what is A? A is really just a clever way to say 10, but represent it in a single digit form. Because again, hexadecimal, we're looking at single digits. B is for 11, C is for 12, D is for 13, E is for 14, F is for 15. Important to note, hexadecimal, if we're looking at the binary portion of it, is actually groups of four bits. So some hexadecimal examples. 10. The issue with hexadecimal is we're dealing with single values. So it's not 10, it is actually 1 and 0. Again, since we said it's groups of four bits, we will break 1 into the binary form and 0 into its binary form. So in reality, when we are looking at 1 and 0, this is the binary form. Or if we want to look at this and the decimal, 0, 0, 1. This is the 1 position, 2, 4, 8. This is the 16 position. So one zero in hexadecimal is zero 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 one zero 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 binary or the number sixteen in decimal. What about if we look at I'm gonna erase all of this sixteen. Again it's not sixteen, it is one and six. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, because again we're separating them into groups of 4 bits, so if that is the number in binary, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, so if we want to convert this into decimal, that's the 1 position, 2 position, 4 position, 8 position, 16 position. So we're going to add 16, 4, and 2. So that's going to be 22 decimal. So 16, 1, 6, is actually 22 decimal. If we look at A, we know that A is 10. If we look at 1 and B, One B, one is, and B is actually eleven. That is it in binary. If we look at this in decimal, we had the one, the two, the eight position, and the sixteen position. So sixteen, eight, two, and one. 24, 25, 26, 27. So 1B is 0, 0, 1, 1, in binary or 27 in decimal form. Again, you have to denote what form they are in because we're dealing with multiple numbering systems now. We have a few ways to convert hexadecimal to decimal. Earlier, when we were looking at a chart, the similar chart and we were doubling it, that was because doubling worked when we dealt with binary. Here, we're actually increasing by groups of 16. So 1 is the first group. 16 to the power of 1 is 16. Two, uh, 16 to the power of 2 is actually 16 times 16. 256. 256 times 16 is 4094, or 4096. 16 times 4096 is 65,536, and so forth. 
So one way we can do this, let's say for example we want to convert 9f5. We break it down, 5 in the first position, f in the second position, 9 in the third position. We can actually do 5 times 1 will be 5. F actually is 15. 15 times 16 is 240. And 9 times 256 is 2304. We add those up. 2304 plus 240 plus 5 is 2549. Realistically, I break it into binary. It's easier for me. It just kind of depends on who you're talking with. If we are looking at, let's say, A, B, C. If we are following this logic and we want to break this into the decimal, C is in the one position, so we would do A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, so 12 times 1, 11 times 16, 10 times 256. And you would just do the appropriate math. So we can just do the math. 12 times 1 is 12. 11 times 16 is 176. 10 times 256 is 2560. So we add it up. 2560 plus 76 plus 12 is 2,828. So that's converting hexadecimal to decimal, hexadecimal to binary, and so forth. So let's look at converting hexadecimal to binary. We already know that hexadecimal, I understand that this chart is missing the decimal number zero. It just it didn't kind of jive very well when I did that. So I just write that on the bottom. Decimal number zero is actually zero, 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 zero in binary and zero in hexadecimal. Decimal number one is zero, 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 one or one in hexadecimal. And so forth, all the way through. Six in decimal is a single uh, hexadecimal number six. Seven is zero one 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 in binary or seven in hexadecimal. Once we get to 10, decimal number 10 is represented by two digits. In binary, it's one zero one zero. In hexadecimal, single digit is just A, so forth. So let's talk about converting hex to binary. Again, groups of four bits. I broke down 9F5 into groups of four bits already. And then I did a long string of binary. Again, if we're looking at this, these four bits came from here. These four bits came from here. These four bits came from here. We take 1001111111101. That's what we did down here. And we convert that into decimal. We again we add where the ones are at. 2048 plus 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 equals 2549. So again, being able to convert back and forth between hexadecimal binary and hexadecimal to decimal, decimal to hexadecimal, and so forth, is actually really important when we get into later areas and we actually show how they're all interconnected. If you have any questions or concerns about this material, please let me know. Thank you.